kids are exhausted. Swimming all day just takes it out of all of us. You got caught. She was arching her back trying to watch the TV. Are you trying to watch TV? You're too small for TV. You don't need to watch that stuff. Fast forward exactly 24 hours later, repeat of the day. We did the exact same thing. We went swimming all day and here are the kids now. On a side note, Landon just left school so he will be here in a few hours. I'm so excited to see him. I daddy, they are here. I say boo and train it, daddy. Look, dad's right there. Should we go scare him? Stop, freeze. Okay, you gotta get down. Yeah, you, you gotta get down, we gotta hide. I think I should have been out here telling Lannan where to go. I don't think he knew where he was going. Dang it, he went down the wrong street. Woohoo! Woohoo! Well, his tactic was to come out here and I scare you, I but I don't you. think that worked. I missed you. <laughs> You can tell you're tired, you were rubbing your eyes. Yeah, been a long day. Grandpa and Grandma decided to spoil us tonight with a little miniature golf. So Grandma's got baby duty back there. And the rest of us are causing pandelirium for everybody else in line behind us. That has to wait, so I feel sorry for them. Other cards coming. Oh dear, he is struggling. Five Emma, high five Emma. Cousins are so funny. Emma was just saying, when I'm 16, you can hop in my car, we'll take all my money, and we'll go buy stuff. <laughs> We're just driving down around St. George, and I cannot believe that the state of Utah is kind of fun. The northern part of the state of Utah is like pine trees and camping, and it gets cool, and then the southern part is like this desert that I've never really been to. And, Orange rocks. And I feel lucky to have like all of this like fun stuff in the state of Utah because we talk about like traveling and it is fun to get out and go see places and we love traveling to like other states. But there's also so much in our own home state that we've never done before. Okay, this is amazing. We are going to Tuacon, an outdoor amphitheater or theater and it's where they produce these live plays and we are going to see the Prince of Egypt and I am so excited, it's just so pretty and we keep driving into this like cave area and we'll show you more when we get out but this is something that we've been looking forward to for a while now. Are you excited to be here tonight, sis? <laughs> is this your first time here? Mine too, I've never been here. This is Chrissy and Livy's second time. Wow, 
Well, we lucked out tonight. <laughs> Julie's feeding baby. I didn't know that you can't have babies younger than three years old or something with you in the theater. And so luckily the daycare had one spot one left. One cancellation. One, they had a cancellation. So, or else I'd have been sitting in the car all night. So we get to go and enjoy it with zero kids. No, Emma's with oh, us. Oh, Emma's with us, but she's not a kid anymore. She's like, she's, she's a side, sure she's a sidekick. She's talking about driving until a minute ago. She's already talking about driving. Oh, gee. I was like, and Emma, no. Okay, have fun with our happy baby. This good thing is nighttime. The one advantage of having a super cute baby is that everybody's gonna pay attention to her in there. <laughs> well, they're all cute. They're, they're all, all cute. cute. But we have a super cute baby. Um, I had to have to be. I got, like almost like wanted to get a little teary eyed when they were like, um, she can't go in there with you. I was like, she's like my baby. She's like, like an appendage to me. She feeds from me. I just love like I can't like my baby. All right, we're gonna be interrupting the show here. We're walking in now. Can you hear that fun music? We missed the part in the beginning where they told us no flash photography or videography, so that means it doesn't apply to that us. You guys are welcome. <laughs> okay, so these are two of the three lucky grandkids that came with us. The other one is sleeping. Good morning everyone. I think we are all feeling it this morning. I think we all feel like we just got hit by a bus. It is almost 9 o'clock in the morning and last night Porter put himself to bed at 5.30. It was 5.30. I came up here and he was asleep in the bed by himself and he has been asleep ever since and it is almost 9 o'clock in the morning so let's go check on him. Oh hi buddy. Stretch those arms. Stretch. Did you get some really good sleep? You must have been so tired. We have played so hard for three or four days now, huh? Mom? What? You said the W word. What? I just said the W word? You said it again. Say, I love you. I love you. <gasps> you just said the L word. Dad. Dad. What? Wow. Said the w word. <laughs> so I know the camera is not on me, but I don't have a tripod with me. So you guys just get to see Cooper's cute little legs. Look how cute your little legs are. Your hair looks nice, buddy. Mine, on the other One hand, not too bad. One. Okay, dolphin. One. We were with Ellie one time, and Emma started making this noise, <laughs> and Ellie brought it brought it to our attention. She goes, "Wow, Emma, that's a cool dolphin noise!" And now that is how Emma laughs. Ever since then, Ellie, that is how Emma laughs. Emma laughs. <laughs> that's her dolphin. <laughs> You're crazy. Okay, you go pick up all your stuff around the house. Porter, go find your book bag downstairs and put all your toys in it. Yeah. You're cleaning up. Thank you. Do you like how they're wearing Griffith shirts to um, your... To a Daru party. Yeah. We'll see how many people say anything. Yeah. Bye, cute kids. Bye, cute kids. Bye, cute Mikey. You see do? you. Fun. Okay, everybody tell Grandpa and Grandma thank you. <laughs> Give them big hugs, please. Bye. Oh, that was so much fun. It would not be possible without them. Oh. I hope you go safe. Go safe. Can you tell Grandpa and Grandma sorry we're wearing Griffiths Family Reunion t shirts to a Daru family party? Oh, my, that's okay. Bam. Love you guys. Did you like swimming?